Bitcoin heading to 28,000. Do you guys think that's true? Um, Peter Brandt explains why it's heading over to 28,000. Now, if you guys don't know, he's a veteran trader. Uh, he's been around the block for a little bit. So wanted to touch on this thing and see what you guys think. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys are subscribed. Leave me a comment below. Let me, guy, let me know. Let, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think... Um, I know Bitcoin's been like, a, it's been like a yo-yo. It's, it's been going up to 45, dipping down to as low as 35. And he says it's going to go a little bit lower than what we're seeing. So yeah, let's jump straight into this one. Let's just see exactly what it is that he's talking about. So on May 1st, um, who is one of the world's most respect, respected classical characters, commented on Bitcoin's latest price action. And this is very interesting here. It says here, there's a tweet. The completion of a bear channel typically results in a decline equal to the width of the channel or, in this case, a hard test of 32,000 or so. My guess is 28,000. This does not make me a hater. Bitcoin. And when you look at that graph, this is pretty interesting here. He put two two separate lines and it looks like it was testing that ground going up and it was in that pocket and then it just dipped and from what this looks like the, here's that black line right here at the bottom where it could go as low as 28k maybe 32 i don't know um another tweet that he also said was we'll have a massive redemptions before this cycle is over lots of people leave parties when they go longer than scheduled so yeah, it's very interesting here and, and of course not everyone agrees with him um, short to medium term price predictions for Bitcoin, for example, macroeconomist and crypto analyst trader Alex Kruger says this about his comment says when you read about brands target tar trading targets, remember that the last time the man traded outside of his retirement account was in 1984. So uh, shots fired <laughs> big time shots fired. But this guy does have he, he has, has a reputable background um, and he's been in the news quite often. So and a lot of people do follow what he says. Um, he did says here, I am not an advocate for short term trading. The 2013, 2017 and 2021 highs were extremely recognizable. Given the clarity of tops, why would someone risk 80 percent DDs and need to make the same money over and over and over? Come on. Bitcoin is a great investment, not a religion. And one of the things he says, and this is kind of, I have mixed feelings on this too. He says, I'm not a fan of holding Bitcoin. Bitcoin has history of 80% declines. Four and 11 years, a holder needs 400% each time to return to ATH. I hate having to make the same money over and over and over again, hard enough the first time. Okay, trolls, troll. Now this is very very true when people do put in and and they they I've seen this I've seen this and I've heard this countless amount of times where somebody puts in some money it it goes up and then it dips big time and then they pull out and they've lost some money they throw it back in there and then it comes up and they're like cool now I just made my money back they pull out and as it keeps going up, they throw it back in there and then it dips. And then it's just that vicious cycle over and over and over. Um, some people, I know they call them diamond hands where they're saying, hey, I'm going to put this in there and just leave it there forever. That's really hard to do. Also, like if you bought Bitcoin back when it was worth a couple pennies, a couple cents or even a couple bucks and you left it there for the very, very, very 10 year long term. Sure, you could definitely see a big return and you're like, cool. But I don't think anybody was really like, hey, I'm going to put a million dollars when it's worth a dollar and now it just dropped down to 50 cents. I just lost, lost half my money. I don't think a lot of people were ballsy back then. And I think nowadays people do see it a little bit more, but it's not as crazy as it first was. But I don't know. I it, 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 You can't really predict Bitcoin on how it's going to explode or, you know, because a lot of people start ramping up all at the same time. You kind of have to catch it like really, really early right before it happens and then buckle up, cross your fingers and see. So let me know what you guys think. I try to give you guys all the latest and greatest news. Do you think Peter is right or wrong that it's going to go down to twenty eight thousand? I I don't see twenty eight thousand just based on his charts and everything, based on what I'm looking at in my research. I could see thirty two thousand and that's probably when I would buy back into Bitcoin. 
let me know what you guys think let me know if if the new bottom is going to be 28k and is, if it's gonna if it's gonna test those grounds or not you guys take care take care of each other and i'll see you guys in the next one take care guys